Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, Larry here, back with a back with another video here. Now the 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 topic I plan on doing it uh, doesn't have it doesn't have anything to do with this particular team. This is just what I happen to throw on here. It's a little uh, it's another little uh, team uh, little team collection, and uh, there was there was before I, before I get to that. There was one of my subscribers when one of the uh, the more recent videos I did. He gave me a good idea about because I had I had unboxed the uh, the most recent Stanley Cup shirt and hat, and he kind of gave you know and because I've always I always get the I always get the shirt and the hat every year, and he gave me a good idea of you know showing off all of you know all the ones that I have well I've got all the shirts from 2010 from 2010 up the problem is right now is finding the hats the hats are I found a couple of them I've got I've got so many flipping hats over from the last 20 plus years or whatever they're in they're in they're in totes they're in boxes and I'm trying to go through those because I'm, ne I'm needing to find the rest of them. I mean, obviously, the, the ones I found were from 2011 and 2012. And I obviously still have, I have the, the, the more recent ones of 2018, 19, 20, and 21. But the ones I'm still needing to find, obviously, are 2010. 2013, 14, 15, 16, and 17. <laughs> so there's a, there's still a whole group of hats that I still need to find before I'm able to do that video. I found all the shirts. I've got all the shirts all squared away from 2010 up. It's finding the hats. And then I can show also... When I do find all the hats, because I will eventually find them, they're most likely in the shed, probably in our storage unit somewhere. That's where most of the boxes of hats have been. But uh, once I'm able to find those, then I can do that video that my subscriber had given, the, had given me the idea for, and I can show the, the hat and the shirt, the Stanley Cup sh shirt and hat from each year from 2010 up, and then I can also show exactly, you know, the the different brands that made that made the shirts, made the hats, and how they've changed over the years. And basically how <clears throat> up until the last couple of years, especially the hats, they've just gotten more boring as they've gone along. But I still got some digging to do in order to find in order to find those so that I can do that video. Which that video will will definitely happen when i find the when i find the rest of those hats that is a video that will happen and i do want to thank the subscriber who gave me that idea because he put that in the in the comments section and i thought that's a hell of an idea so i just have to find the rest of the hats before i can do that video then i can do it but uh i gotta find all the hats first the shirts i've got at least i got at least i've got the shirts the hats i still need to find but uh, on on that note, uh, and again, I want to thank you all for uh, for being here. And uh, you know, if anybody's new, you know, if you're if you're new to new to my channel, you know, give the you know give the give the videos a little watch. You know, if you like them, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of the uh, as a part of the channel. And uh, you know, as I'm trying to to grow the channel a little more. And, uh, you know, yeah, if you guys, if you guys, uh, if, if anybody new out there is, uh, seeing these videos and you like it, hit the subscribe button. I know you want to, I know you want to, there's a ton of Jersey collectors out there. I know, but, uh, on that note, my team collection that I'm up to is I'm up to the Edmonton Oilers. Now, granted, I haven't exactly been going in alphabetical order. I'm trying to go in a little more alphabetical order now. But uh, I'm up to the I'm up to the uh, the Edmonton Oilers here. 
Now, one of these jerseys, one of the Oilers jerseys that, that I don't have right here, I tried to replace it, or I, I, I had it. It's, you know, it's just hailed. I mean, it's just hailed on. And it was the it was it was the navy it was the navy blue style that they wore in the early two thousands. I had I had that one. It's just it's it's just been hailed on, and I tried to replace it, but for whatever reason, when I tried to make when I tried to put the order through, when I tried to put my card through, the the site kicked it back out. It wouldn't take. It wouldn't take my card. I had it there. It was in the cart. I was all ready to pay for it, and it wouldn't. It wouldn't take my card, and it ticked me off because when I went back in to try, and when I went back in like a couple days later to try it again, after I'd already tried it like four or five times, I went back in, tried to try it again, gone, naturally. So unfortunately, I do not have that one. I tried to replace, like I said, I tried to replace it. They had a 2X there. Uh, it was Van City Sports. And I went in there a couple days later and the 2X is gone. I'm like, mm. for whatever reason, they just they didn't. They wouldn't take my card at the time. I mean, I've ordered stuff from them before. Just for whatever reason, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work that time. So I was not able to replace the Navy Blue Oilers. Which is a sweet jersey. Which honestly, I would not mind it if they brought that back. That same that same style from the year they went to the finals from 2006. Come back with that style with the oil with the oil man there on the shoulder. Come back with that style as a third jersey. Even as, if it's just a third, that would be sweet. Even as a third jersey, that that style in an Adidas winner, big time winner. So, without any further ado, let's get on. Let's get on to uh, onto this. Now, of course, this is one of my one of my pride and joys here. Is this one right here? Now, this of course is the classic Oilers look. I mean, it's it's a it's beautiful. I mean, it's you can't get any more classic than this. And you know, they had. I mean, this was their jersey for. I mean, they they won all their Stanley Cups with this. This was this was the jersey that they that they are so well known for. I mean, you know, it's it's the royal the royal blue. The royal blue. It's really, really pretty. Sorry about that. Got a dog bark got one of our dogs barking in the barking in the other room. <laughs> Sorry about that. But uh but yeah, it's the royal blue. It's absolutely fantastic. The orange on the shoulder is just pretty. And of course, you know, you might you might recognize the C. Of course, you'll recognize the numbers. Everybody knows who this guy is. He is, without a doubt, the greatest. He is, he's the great one. One of my prize, one of my pride and joys here. Love this jersey. Absolutely love it. So, so that is... That's the that's the that's the classic that's the classic look. Awesome look. Then they kind of changed it up and then they went, you know, with the navy, they went with the navy blue, which unfortunately I don't have right now because they, you know, like I said I missed out on being able to replace it. But I did get and this one was actually still in pretty good shape. This is the this was their class. This was their old third from the, God, what what year was this? This had to be like what ninety nine two you know ninety eight ninety nine two thousand back when Coho, back when when Coho was, what well, CCM and Coho were making them. This is cool. I mean, this is a really cool cool look. Now I've heard if. Some people say if they did another reverse retro set, they wanted to see this in a reverse retro. So this basically in white, and then this part be be blue. <clears throat> now of course, me in white jerseys, eh, 
you know, I mean, I'm not that crazy about white because they get they get dirty so fast. But uh, that would be an interesting look. If they did a reverse retro in this jersey, it would be a very, very interesting look. And I, it, it'd, be, it'd be really cool to see exactly what they would what they could do and how this would look i mean because this is a this is a very very cool design i mean it completely went away from everything that the oilers at least you know the normal color scheme logo wise the cool thing is i mean if you look at the shoulders I mean, if you look at the shoulders if i can straighten this out here i mean that's that is a that is a cool that is a really cool little little uh, shoulder logo there with the oil drop there, the gear. I mean, it's so subtle little touch that they did on this. Now, I mean, this is when back when when the jersey designers when they were designing the jerseys were they were very you know they 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 thought a lot they thought very out you know outside the box on what. On what kind of designs they would come up with. That's how you come up with a design like this. And honestly, I wish jersey designers now would do that again. Think a little more outside the box when you're coming up with, with jersey designs. Not some of these just basic kind of eh, you know, bland, you know, bland kind of kind of kind of jerseys. You know, like the like the Detroit Red Wings reverse retro. I mean, how 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 bland can you get with that one? thing looks like a practice jersey especially with all the different style jerseys that the red wings have had back in the day you could have done a lot of good stuff with that one and they just decided now nah, we're just gonna be lazy but so there's this one the 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 old the old uh 1990s early 2000s alternate really not really nice i really like this one big fan of this one then they went to reebok and they made the they went they made the change and they went to Reebok, and of course I have the royal blue in the Reebok. Another, you know, a, you know, I mean, another good. It's, it's. I mean, the royal blue. It's like it's classic. No matter what the, no matter who makes it, you know. I mean, the difference is. I mean, obviously it's got the Reebok neckline, so I mean it's a little different than uh, than the CCM one. But I mean everything else. You know, you got the the, the white, the orange. The stripes there, I mean, it's 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 fantastic, and of course, you know, Reebok, Reebok, the the replicas, they always had, they always had the little tag there, and of course, you can you can you can you can tell being a bigger being a bigger guy, these were the only size that I could fit into for the for the longest time when Reebok made the jerseys, and you know, and I, I love the Reebok, I do. The thing is with the Reebok. You get stuff like that. Uh, if you can see, if you can see it there, these things. I mean, they're great, but man, do they snag! I mean, they snag on anything. I mean, you know, you could have a, you could, you could have a little, a little hangnail catching on there, and this thing will, it'll snag almost immediately. It's so the one thing about the Reeboks. They snag. They're they're really nice, really nice, but snagged horribly. But still, not a bad, not a bad, you know. I mean, obviously, not a not a bad, not a bad look. You know, same same original classic style, just in you know in 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 Reebok. Well, then they kind of experimented, and they did a little something here that I thought was really cool. They kind of brought back an old, like an older design, and this is this is where this this all of a sudden kind of came from. This was their. This was similar. I think their old WHA days. They came up with the orange one. I think they only had this for the one year before they switched over to uh, to Adidas. But I remember when I first saw this, I thought, "Oh wow, that's bright," but it looked really cool, and I thought, "I I need to get that." <laughs> That was my first thought is I, I, I have to have that. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's very similar to their, their WHA, their WHA style. You know, you got the solid, 
the solid blue. You got the solid blue there with the white on the top and the bottom there. Same down here. And of course, you know, you got the Reebok, the Reebok size tag. But uh, you know, very a very very cool, very cool look, you know, and the neckline. I mean the neckline is 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 something else too, you know, with the the orange, the blue in the middle. And I mean it just it does. It looks really nice. The logo and the logo I think looks really nice on the bat on the on the uh the the on the orange the orange background. It looked really neat. And I did like this. But then then they went then they went to the Adidas and they came out with Now you had the orange one, then you go to Adidas. Now you change the orange one up a little bit. You put the normal, you put the stripes, you change the striping up a little bit. You put the classic oiler stripes on the, on the sleeve and down on the bottom. And you change the neckline a little bit, but you also changed, you also changed the color. It's not that royal blue, it's more that navy blue, which is really, really nice. I, like I said, if they came out with their, with their early 2000s style uh, Oilers, uh, Oilers jersey, in Adidas now, with that navy blue and the copper, beautiful. In, in, in Adidas, it'd be beautiful. It would be absolutely fantastic. That is the jersey I'd like to see as a third. Them have as a third jersey. But, you know, this one, and everybody, you know, everybody goes and talks about, you know, how bright the orange is. You know, it's that day glow, that day glow spot me from, spot me from space orange. Or, you know, if you're out, you know, you can be out, you can be out in the woods. You can be spotted by a hunter. By wearing this, you can be spotted very easily. So there was that one. Kind of underrated to me. I mean, I think the burnt orange might be a little might be a little better, like the like on their classic style, like on their classic style. But I am I am a fan of this. Then they decided they were gonna go. Then they decided we're gonna kind of go like what the NFL does. We're gonna go with a color rush style. And you have this, and you have, then this is born. Now this, I remember when I first saw it, I thought, wow, that's just kind of plain. It's just kind of plain, bland, you know, like, eh. But then, you know, I, I'd i see it on the ice, and I kept thinking, you know, that's actually not, it, it grew on me. It, it literally grew on me. It, Took a, it took a little bit, but it did grow on me. And and all it is, it's it's navy, it's the navy blue and orange. There's there's nothing else. There's nothing else in there. You know, of course, the neckline. You know, you got the you get the bright and the bright orange neckline. Of course, the bright the bright orange Oilers. You know, it's it's the Oilers logo in all orange. And yeah, color rush style. You know, you just got the two little two little orange stripes there. And from what I was hearing, this is what's going to be their home jersey starting next season. Again, I'd rather see the navy blue and copper one come back as, say, an alternate. But this got a lot of wear this year. So, you know, and there's there's really, and there, again, there's not much to it. You know, it's relatively clean. You know, I mean, it's there's not, there's not a whole lot to it. And you got the orange down there. Again, this is this is one of those things. This is one of those styles where, you know, you're. I mean, some people would say, you know, the designers, ah, eh, designers being lazy again, but, you know, it's it it grew it grew on me. So, you know, this isn't this isn't bad. I definitely I definitely do not mind this, and I know there's actually a few people that do really like this. I wasn't the biggest fan at first, but, again, it, like I said, it grew on me. So, pretty nice. Then I found, then I found the one I had wanted to find, and of course, I got some help from uh, from uh, my buddy Justin. Him and his uh, him and his fiance up in Winnipeg. They allowed me to uh, use his uh, 
use his mailing address because I had gotten this jersey from uh, from lids.ca and they don't ship to the states. So he allowed me, I, I bought it off the Lids site and he allowed me to have it shipped to his address and then when he was making a run back through back through Minnesota here, we uh, we met up. We met up, and uh, I picked this up, and I was very thankful for him and his fiance. And uh, that's where I got this one, the classic. I mean, again, the classic one. I had. I mean, obviously, I have the one, I have the CCM version. I have the. Because here's the CCM version. So I have that one. Of course, the Reebok. I mean, you know, I had to have I had to have one in all three styles. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to do it where you can where you can all see them is uh, it's kind of an interesting little task. But uh, but again, you know, here we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it this way. <laughs> Show the one here. CCM, classic. You know, the CCM vintage, the classic one. My Gretzky one, awesome, love it. And then, of course, you have the Reebok, where, you know, I mean, same, you know, same, same style and everything. This one's the Reebok, and this one, the Adidas. Fantastic. Now, of course, the big. The big thing with with those is the different brands. They all have the different. They all have the different necklines. You've got like the normal the normal style V neck type right there. The white, you know, the white and the orange. The normal CCM style neckline. Again, love that one. Then of course Reebok. Reebok they changed it up a little bit. They still have the orange and the white. But it's more, it's it's more been flattened out here, so they can have the the little piece with the NHL logo there. Pretty cool. And then of course the Adidas one, where they didn't really they didn't add any orange around the the uh, top of it necessarily. Is that how that? that, how that yeah, that's how that was. Yeah, that's how that was. They didn't add it. They this this what this wasn't in, this wasn't orange. This wasn't orange with white. This one's just the it's the white the white collar around here with the orange. Still looks still looks fantastic. The navy is just is awesome. So glad I have all of these. Of course, this one as you can see down on there. Where is the where is it? Where is it? There's the CCM. Then, of course, the navy blue, or the, the, the royal blue. Sorry about that. Yeah, royal and navy. Hello, two different, two different blues. But the Reebok version, and then the Adidas version. Now, interestingly enough, I mean, it kind of looks, it almost looks like the, the, the orange on this is a little darker, but, you know, that could be just how the cam, how the camera makes it look. But, you know, I mean, you know, Reebok, Adidas, you know, and the same, you know, same here kind of with the CCM. It almost looks like the Reebok version is a little bit dark, is a little bit uh, uh, lighter than the CCM and the Adidas style. But, I mean, there's there's the orange then of course they all leave but yeah all three all three all three styles absolutely love it got all three all three brands of the classic navy or the the, the classic royal blue got all three styles love it so glad i got so glad i have those because I mean, the Oilers—they were my favorite team as a as a kid growing up. They were my favorite team as a kid growing up because of, you know, the guy wearing number ninety nine. I loved him as a player. Absolutely fantastic. 
I was so glad because that the royal blue one, you know, they may not, they, you know, I don't know if they're ever going to wear that one again. But if they if they didn't, I wanted to get that one in Adidas also. So that is my uh, my Edmonton Oilers uh, team collection. I uh, hope you hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, that little trek through uh, through my little uh, Oilers jersey history. And uh, and yeah, like I said, the hat the the hats I will continue to look for those to see if I can. And see if I can find the rest of those hats so I can do that other video, which uh, was a hell of an idea by uh, by uh, by one of my awesome subscribers. And uh, I'm trying to think. I think there was an, there was there was another couple ideas that I had for for a video to do other than other than obviously my the shirts and the hats. I might run through another. I might do another team collection one today maybe i'll see i'll see how that goes but uh you know i've i've got a couple ideas you know of, of you know showing showing you guys all of my player jerseys getting all my player jerseys together and showing you all of those and uh that uh that i think uh you guys can uh, look forward to in a uh, future video here and uh yeah i uh i thank you guys for being here i know this is a kind of a kind of a longer video you know because sometimes i just i get talking about hockey and i sometimes just ramble you know i'm just as i'm kind of doing now i just sometimes ramble you know so i mean don't don't hold that against me hopefully but uh again you know for anybody new that's uh you know comes across my channel comes across any of my videos i would uh you know if you if you like them hit the like button hit the subscribe button i would truly appreciate it and uh, you know, I'd love to see how uh, how big this channel goes. And uh, for my loyal subscribers that I have out there now, I love y'all. I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys again real soon.